Okay, good morning gang and welcome to this lesson on solving equations part two. It follows on from the compulsory lesson that was uploaded or will be uploaded. I'm not sure if this lesson is compulsory or optional yet, I haven't decided how we're going to schedule it. Obviously, what it is, is what it says before the video, spoiled by the title. And if you're back in school, it's whatever your teacher says it is. So, let's get cracking. What I would like to do, I've called it a knowledge check today, I went through and corrected that. I'd like you to pause the video and give it your best shot. If you're stuck, let me just say this. Write the vector. That just means explain the movement, but I'm going to show it in a vector. And calculate the mean for each data set. To calculate the mean, we add up our numbers and we divide by how many there are. Okay, pause the video and best of luck. Answer coming on the board in three, hopefully not cheating, two, one and let's get cracking. Okay, so increase 80 by 10%. Now there's lots of different ways to do this. I'm gonna put up one method, but I'll talk for another, really confusing I know. So the answer for the first one is 88. You can do it as I've done it on the board, using multipliers, or you can do 10%, which is eight, add them together and you get 88, so 80 add eight. The next one's on the board, 80 times 1.2 equals 96. The next one, what do you think it's going to be? I haven't put a solution for this one. It's 96 as well because of commutativity. Multiplication can be attempted in any order. Remember, increase 20, uh, 20 by 80%. That is the same as saying 80%. Sorry, that is the same as saying, the first one's the same as saying 80 times 1.2, and the next one is 1.2 times 80. And all I'm doing is find that of and just swapping it, uh, swapping it around. Next two are on the board. What your mistake you'll make there is where it says decrease 20 by 80%. If you just find 80%, that's not decreasing it by 80%. What you need to do is 100%, take away your 80%, and you get 20%. 20% 20 of 20 equals 4. Okay, your collected like terms are on the board now. Tick and fix with that. See, all I'm doing there is collecting my like terms. I can't add together my unlike terms. Okay, now the vector movements. I said you can have an explanation. So I will say that and then I will also put up my vector movement. So A to B, you could have right for and then up to. That is how you show it as a vector. So if you've just put it in words, make sure you copy that down. And A to C, I'm going along, I'm going right for and I'm going down to. So 4, negative 2. See how there's no commas in a vector. And B to C, I'm going across none, 0. How many am I going down now? I'm going down 4. Is going down going to be a negative or positive? Brilliant, it's going to be a negative 4. And calculate the mean for each data set. 30 divided by 3 equals 10. 24 divided by 4 equals 7. And the last one, the relationship between the two, exactly the same numbers, I've just switched up that order now. So you're going to get exactly the same result. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is push on with today's lesson. Tick and fix that. Let us know how you get on. But what I want to look at now is this. 3x add 11 equals 38 and how I would solve that. So I'm going to start off by recognising it's 3 lots of x add 11 equals 38. So the first step to isolate my 3x, I need to take away 11 from both sides. I take away 11 from both sides and I'm left with 3x equals, what's 38 take away 11? 27. And now how am I going to get 1x and I don't need 3x, what's the inverse of times in by 3? It's to divide by 3, excellent. How many 3's going to 27? Excellent, I get 9. X equals 9. And we're going to have a look at one more before we do some weedies. So what's changed about this one? What's going to be my sticking point? I've got 9x take away 13. The inverse of taking away 13 is to add 13. So I'm going to add 13 to both sides. And I get 9x equals 45. Now if 9x means 9 times x... What's going to be the inverse of times in by 9? Excellent, it's going to be to divide by 9. And how many 9's going to 45? 
excellent, it is five. Okay, so on the board now, there's this we do. What I would like you to do, you've got two options, either work for it with me, making notes, or you can pause the video and you can have a go at those. And then you can work for it with us after, just see if you're right or wrong, really. Okay, so let's look at this first one, 4x add 10 equals 70. First set is I'm going to do the inverse of adding 10, which is to take away 10. And I get 4x equals 60. And then divide by 4, I get x equals 15. Oh, I really hate those answers like that. 6x take away 10 equals 26. First step, add 10 to both sides. I get 6x equals 36. 36 divided by 6 there, I get x equals 6. Okay, now this one's a bit more challenging. I'm going to start by taking away 6. And I get x over 2. 16 take away 6 equals what? 16 take away 6 equals 7. But now what does this vinculum mean? <laughs> that vinculum means divide by 2. So what's the inverse of dividing by 2? Excellent. It's going to be times by 2. I've got my really scruffy writing. Times by 2 on both sides. I don't write that, it's that bad on the board normally. I get x equals 14. Okay, and this last one's really challenging. I would just go for it really quick because a lot of you are really going to be pushing on this now. I get 5x. I really shouldn't have done it like this. I might just write it on the wall next time. 5x over 2 equals, take four, uh, 6 away from both sides, I get 35. Okay, now I times by 2 because that vinculum means divide by 2. And I get 5x. You're probably thinking, hurry up with that little mouse. 5x equals 70. And I finally finish by dividing by the 5. How many 5s go into 70? Excellent, I get 14. Okay, what I'd like you to do now is hopefully you got on well with that. If you're not, if you didn't, sorry. Best part about these videos is you can rewind and have another go. On the board is a load of questions. I'll try and get my head out of the way. I'll put it here. What I'd like you to do is you've got two options, you can either pause, copy and complete, so completing all the gaps, or you can pause the video and you can just have a go at working these out in your way. Okay, pause the video and best of luck. Okay, and answer coming on the board now, I'd like you to just tick and fix. Tick and fix those please, gang. Okay, my head was shielding the answer of four. I think that is a really good number, so we will call that the password today. I've just highlighted it on the board. Just that number there, nice and easy. All right, let's finish this lesson then. And I don't want you rushing away to do that now because we've got a quick buy and I'd love you to get those achievement points in. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put up a set of questions on the board. Remember, time yourself and let me know the scores in the stream for an achievement point. Starting in three, two, one, go. Tick and fix, please, T. Uh, best shot. 5 times 10, then add 5 times 2, or you can do it a different way. 10 add 2, times it by 5. Best of luck. Remember to pause the video now. Okay, and answer coming on the board in 3, 2, 1, and let's go. Answers are on the board. I would like you to tick and fix, please. Ticking and fixing those. Okay, spot on. Let us know how you got on for an achievement point. And that is the lesson done. If you want a bit of an optional extra, I will leave these on the board. These questions here, you can use a calculator for. And I just want to see how you guys get on. Best of luck. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Um, you will see me in the next video. If there's any bits you're stuck on, you can leave a comment in the stream. Alternatively, and probably more effectively, you can rewind the video and you can give it another shot. Okay, I'll catch you later.